Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss the relative velocity method to find out uh, the velocities of a four-bar chain mechanism. So, by using the relative velocity method by vector diagram, uh, we are going to find out uh, the velocities of the various means. So, let us start with the problem statement. So, this is the problem statement. In a four bar chain ABCD, AD it is fixed and uh, it is 150 millimeter long. The crank AB that is 40 millimeter long and rotates at 120 rpm in the clockwise direction. While the link CD it is 80 millimeter long and oscillates about D. The BC and ED are equal in length. Find the angular velocity of link CD when angle BAD is 60 degree. So this is the problem statement. So it's the simplest mechanism. So we have four number of chains are here, and uh, all the links it forms the turning pairs. So all the pairs it will be the turning pairs. So one link it will be fixed, and uh, obviously they are given the AD it is the fixed mean so all the dimensions are given to us so first we will draw one simple sketch so here it is this is the fixed link AD so this is given as 150 millimeter so this is AD as 150 millimeter so we have given the next link it is uh, the crank AB so it is 40 millimeter long and uh, rotates at 120 rpm so it is 120 revolutions per minute ok so the angle for this particular crank, crank it is given that is angle BAD it is 60 degree so here through this uh, A we can draw AB it is inclined at an angle 60 degree so here it is this AB and which is 40 millimeters in length and uh, the angle VAD it is 60 degree so this is 60 degree then uh, this uh, BC the length of BC and uh, the length of ED are given as equal so the length of BC uh, it is equal to 150 millimeter so ED it is 150 so I can draw BC it is 150 millimeters length and the length of CD it is uh, 80 millimeter so this is CD as 80 millimeter so this is the, the the given configuration of the four bar chain mechanism so let us start with the solution so here the length of crank AB it is 40 millimeter so it is 0 0.04 meter the speed of this crank it is given as 120 revolutions per minute so by which we can calcul calculate the angular velocity of crank so here we know that the angular velocity of crank VA is equal to 2 pi n by 60 so here 2 pi into 120 divided by 60 so if you calculate, so you get it 12.568 radian per second. So this is the angular velocity of B with A. So therefore, uh, by this we can calculate the linear velocity of B, the velocity of B with respect to A, or directly we can say the velocity of B, because the A point is fixed one. A point is so fixed. So that's why directly also we can say that the velocity of B. So the velocity of B with respect to A is equal to the product of this angular velocity of BA into length of AB. Okay. So the angular velocity just we have calculated here that is 12.568 and the length of EB so that I know is 0 0.04 so here if you put this value 
so we will get the linear velocity as 0 0.503 meter per second so this is how we have calculated the linear velocity of b the linear velocity of b with a it is equal to 5.0.503 meter per second so 0 0.503 meter per second so this is the magnitude and uh, regarding the position so it is perpendicular to ab it is perpendicular to ob now once you have calculated this particular velocity the linear velocity in magnitude as well as in direction uh, then uh, we have to show this particular position on the space diagram so that uh, we can go for the vector diagram for the velocity diagram so let us uh, draw the space diagram first for the given configuration so here i will choose the scale i will take the scale that is uh, what is to do so by our choice we can choose the scale so according to the given dimension so here i have taken this particular scale as one is to do so here the length of ed is given so i will take this ed is a horizontal position then the length of crank ed so here it is ed at uh, 60 degree inclination then the position of c point uh, we can get it i know the length of bc so from b so from b i will mark the distance bc and from this d point again again i will draw another arc with distance cd so where these two intersect so you will get the point as c so i will join it cd and bc so here the link ad it is fixed one so here i have shown the fixed position for the link ad whereas ab it is the shortest link which acts as a crank and it is rotating in the clockwise direction so this is in the clockwise direction the rotation of the ab we have calculated the linear velocity of b so the velocity of b point with respect to a and this is perpendicular to the ab so this is the position for velocity of b with a the position for the velocity of b with a now let us start with the velocity diagram so here again i have to consider one suitable scale for the velocity diagram so the magnitude for the velocity i've got it it is uh, 0 0.503 so now if i take uh, one centimeter is equal to 0 0.1 meter per second the length of vector it might be 5 centimeter something or 5 point something centimeter like this so obviously it is the sufficient length for me uh, to represent this particular vector in the velocity diagram so therefore <coughs> take any point so any one point and uh, represent uh, the velocities uh, of the fixed point so the velocities of fixed point that is uh, the velocity of e and the velocity of b that is zero so that's why with this particular point i can represent that is e comma d this is the starting point okay then i can represent the next vector through this point so just we can see here uh, this vector e b it is directed towards downward direction so as the crank it is rotating in the clockwise direction so it is directed toward downward so this is the vector the length of vector we can calculate the magnitude of the velocity divided by scale so we will get the length of vector and the position so it is perpendicular to link e b so we can align one of the scale of your drafter to this e b and uh, next scale automatically it will be perpendicular to this.
so with this we can draw the vector so this is the vector eb which is perpendicular to link eb and uh, this represents the velocity of v this represents the velocity of v okay so now from b we can move towards c we can move towards c this uh, represents the velocity of c so this is the c point so velocity of c with b the velocity of c with b so here this is perpendicular to the link bc so is perpendicular to this link bc so this is bc so i don't know the length of this vector so i will draw it with a sufficient length the next i can define the velocity of this c point with reference to d so obviously uh, through d point i know the location of d so through this d point i can draw one vector and which is perpendicular to this cd which is perpendicular to this cd so this is the vector vcd which represents the velocity of c vcd and it is perpendicular to link cd is perpendicular to link cd so the point of intersection i will get it as c the point of intersection i will get it as a c so by this way we have completed the velocity diagram for the given configuration so all the links are covered we have completed the velocity diagram now from this velocity diagram we can calculate and the angular velocity of this link bc the angular velocity of link bc so just see here we have to calculate the angular velocity of this particular bc in radian per second in radian per second so here from velocity diagram by measurement so first thing we, we can find out so that is the linear velocity of the cd the linear velocity of in cd so just we can measure the length of the vector bc and multiplied by scale and multiplied by scale so see here so just from this particular velocity diagram if i measure the length of vector bc so this is the vector bc so this is the vector bc so i have to measure the length of bc and this is our scale 0.1 meter per second so i'll measure this length and multiply it by scale so i'll get the value for the velocity so here if you calculate so i have to measure the vector length and multiply it by scale so after calculation you will get the value as 0.385 meter per second so for your reference i have given the values okay so here we have to calculate and then calculate the value okay so here the length of uh, cd it is given as 80 mm so that is a 0.08 meter and uh, by this we can calculate the angular velocity of cd so here the angular velocity of cd so it is uh, equal to linear velocity of cd divided by cd it is the length of link cd okay so here we have calculated the angular velocity 0.385 and the length of link it is 0.08 meter so if i calculate so i will get the angular velocity so it will be 4.8 radian per second so 4.8 radian per second so here this angular velocity omega cd is equal to 4.8 radian per second so this is the magnitude regarding the direction so just we have to check from the configuration diagram so here it is the link ab which is rotating in the clockwise direction and this is the link bc this is the link bc so here this bc it is the adjacent link so it will rotate in the opposite direction to this so it is rotating in the clockwise direction so the the direction for this uh, bc it will be in the anti clockwise it is in the anti clockwise so here here the angular velocity of link cd that is 
4.8 radian per second and uh, the direction it is anti clockwise about it so this is our final answer and this is the final answer so what they have asked so this is the way so by which we can calculate and uh, solve the problem by using the uh, relative velocity method thank you